first trial and second trial, it has the board again and we have a purpose and proper direction. And what it is all about to calculate uh, the information and and uh, and this one this guy is an expert for what an expert for giving in testing the board for the work. So two big trials. Finally, finally, uh, this robot evaluates his performance. Mm -hmm. And you can test a little bit more. Like this. Way. So, uh, by using the same name and the same name of our learning, our robot learning, uh, and this one is learning uh, how to keep how testable for the robot uh, with the proper speed and proper direction. Um, however, I mean, Cynthia Bridges, Cynthia, you know, MIT, she was trying to teach the robot itself. So that is a different thing. So that was the first uh, trial, and in fact, uh, in this experiment, she was to keep more slower. Because I'm thinking of uh, the game with a team of, for example, three robots with three humans, three children against three robots plus three children. If people you know, really think that, uh, for example, soccer games against, soccer games against robots, I mean, robots against humans, human players. But I'm thinking of three robots plus three children. Uh, versus against the three robots plus three children. So for the purpose, this kind of training is needed. I mean, proper testing, you know, skill is needed to catch the ball. I mean, uh, the robot can easily catch the ball from the you know, human play. So uh, this is the, uh, you know, uh, different viewpoint of our learning. I mean, compared to the uh, American, you know, our learning. It's, uh, you know, Korean learning. So I think it's a good, I mean, good example, good application field, field of, you know, robot, robot technology. Anyhow, uh, intelligent model. So by using uh, that kind of, you know, IT, RIT, robot intelligence technology, you can use the technology for teaching, you know, humans. So we call it our, our learning. Intelligence modeling, I propose uh, this uh, cognitive architecture uh, you know, using three layers following the base concept of robotics and third modules. So this is the perception layer, perception concept of you know, sensor module, perception module, and optician module. I came to uh, recognize that your team is very strong at this module in perception. And also, uh, this one is the uh, reasoning layer. I mean, thinking you know, mechanism in support in this layer. And this one is the behavior layer. And additionally, we need this one, robot command module. Uh, I mean, for this RRI, uh, robot robot interaction, and user command module is for this HR human robot interaction. And this one is the learning module by changing the memory, uh, the contents of memory that uh, the robot can behave you know, properly. So uh, in this memory module, long memory and working memory, and short term memory. So, um, Short time, short time, and the information will hold the portion. A short span of time, that information shall be recorded in this short memory, and then working memory is to decide to make a final decision. The possible candidates shall be stored coming to this working memory, and finally, one of them shall be selected for this activation. And local memory, uh, for example, episode memory or procedural memory, how to use this one. Uh, should be coming from the procedural memory and semantic memory. The meaning of this one is stored, stored in my long-term memory and so, so forth. So uh, based on this architecture, I mean, sense of perception, attention, context module, the internal state module, I mean, robots for the this kind of natural interaction, this internal state module should be checked internal state and decision making, test scheduling, and give selection and this actually behavior model is definitely needed. So 
So this one is the uh, cognitive architecture. Based on by uh, using this architecture, we are developing the system step by step. So, and here, computation intelligence, I, uh, for this kind of integrated network services, I classified it by six uh, cognitive intelligence, sounds like you know, IQ, social intelligence, EQ, emotional quotient, and behavior intelligence. The uh, real intelligence is really needed if the robot cannot work properly and then the man <coughs> the robot uh, is intelligent. And, and real intelligence is to the ability to gather in the information around this environment. And so on intelligence is kind of group intelligence for the machine system and genetic intelligence. You don't have to care about this human genetic intelligence because we are naturally inherited from our parents. However, uh, this artificial feature also needs this intelligence. I mean, you know, I'm thinking all of you know, virtual and physical you know, system or you know, simultaneously. So this uh, evolution can be done in the virtual world by using software robots, robot, and the physical implementation in this physical world, in this you know, physical system. So genetic intelligence and coming from through the evolution in the virtual world through the uh, software robot system robots and uh, finally you know evolved the evolved the you know, code share the information transmitted to the system and then it behaves following this genetic intelligence. So today I'm gonna uh, show you what you have done by this time by using some uh, video. So this one is the um, intelligence and proper behavior, you know, uh, even intelligence, uh, genetic, group intelligence, social intelligence. So first, the cognitive intelligence. So, uh, for this one, I propose this two-layer uh, contemplation architecture uh, to uh, published in 2008. <coughs> so at the time, at the time, this context, the context of the, the context of awareness, I put this context module there and internal state module there and memory module, and this one, there are two contabulations. One is real-based contabulation, and the other one is context-based contabulation. I uh, select the final one. I mean, even if you want to go out for a for coffee, that is the real-based you know, contabulation. Your willingness is going out to take up for coffee. However, considering this context, this, uh, this is the, we are now in the second room, considering this context, you are now still there. You are going outside. So you are, I mean, the memory. I mean, my brain is competing between the context information and his, his own, her own willingness. So it should be well coordinated. For the purpose, uh, for final behavior selection. So for the purpose, I propose this real based contabulation and context based contabulation. Finally, the final one, you know, by highest urgency. The behavior with the highest cogency will be selected for this exchange. Uh, so big question mm. For the mid base uh, mm. one, how you can teach a robot to have a heart? Because it's mm. something that you know is I just don't understand. Okay, I understand. Uh, please leave up to uh, this one to my paper. I mean I classify that one by I mean in emotion, emotion mm. and motivation and homeostasis. Each internal state will be updated period you know, based on the coming uh, you know, information, coming you know, stimulus. If somebody, you know, pet, you know, the artificial creature go back, and then his happiness will be, will increase, will increase. If hit, if punished, and then a sadness, sadness will be you know, increased. Right? So some equation based on this view, this view. Okay. And if you have any questions, please, please ask me. Mm. So uh, this one was proposed by uh, Robert M. Nelson, for all six. At the time, uh, I know he was invited to the, you know, uh, actually, uh, you know, the University of Education Conference as a keynote speaker. I was at the, I was there at the time. And uh, his proposal was uh, the mechanism of thought, but I named it probability-based mechanism of thought. I mean, um, this one is the uh, target symbols, target symbols. 
this one is the income, income symbols for everything called Apple, Apple, Apple. and then uh, this um, 